Hello and welcome back after many many months. I haven't been able to post much because I was really busy and right now I'm actually living in France and I was meant to put up a video talking about that but it was too long so sorry. But anyway today I'm here to review a whitening sunblock and it's this one. It is let me just do the YouTuber focus thing. It is this one. It is what is it? It's Jigot, 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 Jigot or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, but it is Korean, and um, it's whitening. It's obviously I just said it was a whitening UV sunblock, SPF 50 plus, PA triple plus. I'm not sure what that means. Um, sunblock with very strong water resistance, certified by the KFD. I'm guessing that's um, Korean federal, maybe. Um, Dermatologist Association. Why would, be, why would F be federal? I don't know. I don't know what the F stands for, but it's dermatologically approved, basically, if it's like that. So it's whitening, UV protection, and wrinkle free. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing what they mean by wrinkle free is that um, it prevents wrinkles. <laughs> but yeah. And just a disclaimer I do, I am very much aware of the colorism problem in all across Asia, basically. And like, I am in no way trying to be like, oh my gosh, Asians should be white. Obviously not. Like, I just have my own preference to be on the paler side. Also, since I moved here to France, um, I did get a tan. And the foundation that I sometimes use is like really, really white compared to what I've become. Like, I've been getting back to like, I've been getting paler anyway because it's cold now as well as like this, this did help and like it is working which is what I'm going to talk about but I feel like it's very important to really point out that um, for years obviously for centuries that um, Asians have always like glorified paler skin. That's another problem in, in, in and of itself and like if anyone wants me to talk about it because I do think it's a big problem, I would but I'm in no way trying to be like Oh, um, white equals pretty. No, I just like to be on the paler side. For me, it's just what I like. I don't want to be pale as a ghost, but I like to be on the lighter side. Anyway, so now that we're past that, getting to the point, um, this is going to be just a really quick review because there's not much I can say about a sunblock, you know? This is really, really good. I've had other whitening sunblocks before, but this is probably the best one I've ever had. Like, unfortunately, I don't have any before and after pictures because, like, I really, I didn't really think of this review by myself. She knows who she is, the one who requested this review. <laughs> but it's really good. Like, as I said, it has been working for whitening my skin. Currently, I'm not wearing liquid foundation. It's actually a powder foundation. Number one thing is it hasn't blocked me out, which is good. It's, pr it's quite usual that Korean products, um, don't make me break out. I guess the closest thing I do have to um, before and after would be my hands compared to my arms. Like, I'm not sure if you can see, oh, you can kind of see the difference. My hand is like really pink and my arms are like really, really, it's still quite gold as you, yeah, I, I can see in the camera, but hopefully you can see it too. But like, that's really strange because usually it's the other way around. Like even in day-to-day -day life, your hands would be you know, darker than your arm, especially for me because like I am wearing a lot of long sleeve um, shirts right now and jackets, so obviously my hands are more exposed. But because I'm, you know, wearing long sleeves, I only put sun cream on my face, some, some like usually on my neck if I'm not wearing a turtleneck, and on my hands because those are like I always believe in putting sunblock on your neck and your hands. Obviously, aside from the face, but like the other two most important things would be your hands and your neck because um yes if you put sun cream if you put if you put on sunblock every day on your face then you're gonna age slower But usually it's the hands and neck that's not, you know, that's not like, that's forgotten about. So that would show signs of aging quicker. That's why I put it there. But the fact that like, there's actually a tan line in a very weird way, it shows how good the sunblock is. So like, it really has been whitening my skin 
which is great for me. <laughs> the claim of it being water resistant, I can't really tell for sure because I haven't been to any beaches because it's quite cold right now. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about the quality of the of this um, sunblock. So my mother bought this for me um, from YesStyle. Um, I don't exactly remember how much uh, this costs, but right now um, I'm looking at it and it's on sale, a 60% off and a 6 euro 66 cents. And um, we got it shipped from Korea, obviously, to Ireland. So yeah, I really highly recommend this if you want a whitening, water resistant, UV ray blocking, UV ray, UV ray protection, and um, anti-aging or like prevents aging because I don't really understand what wrinkle free means. <laughs> but I really do recommend this. I really do recommend this for those who want a whitening sunblock. It's it's one of my favorites. I don't think I'll ever use another one. I mean, the only one that I prefer over this is one that I've tried in the Philippines, but I cannot for the life of me remember the name of that, but I'll look for it once I do go home because we're gonna go home next summer. Ay. So yeah, that's all I had to say. Again, I want to really clarify that I do, I acknowledge the colorism problem and I do think it's problematic but this is my personal preference to be a little paler so yeah and with that thank you for watching and I'll see you whenever bye bye